Last week, we did a short video about breaking a bird cage over center. You could also call this camming over or over indexing a bird cage. So today, we're gonna do a short little experiment using the length of our upper rod to check how much angle our bird cage gets, how much angle the rod gets, how much droop it affects, when right now we're on a droop limiter, so that'll be interesting, and what it does to the center of center of our left rear behind shock. Okay, so we're looking at the left rear here. Here is our bird cage. We've got our top rod there. That's the rod that we're gonna change. The bottom rod will remain the same. We're gonna check the angle on this surface right here of the bird cage. We're gonna check the angle of the rod, the droop from the frame rail to the axle tube, and we'll also check the center to center on the left rear behind shock from that point to the mount on the chassis. And we've got our little whiteboard here. Just got a couple of tools for this. Of course, we've got our tape measure and our angle finder. Check in our center to center. We're gonna start at 19, which is where we're at. I'm gonna zero my inclinometer on our frame rail here as our zero point. So with that bar at 19 inches, we'll check our top rod angle here, 55.5.1. I'm gonna get my bird cage angle on this face right here. 52.7. Now we're gonna get our center to center on our left rear behind shock. 24 and an eighth. and our left rear droop from this point right here. There's a yellow arrow there. We are on the chain, the chain is taut. I know everybody said that was funny in our previous video. 16 and right about a 16th, we'll call it 16 and a 16th. Okay, so here's our first set of results. My handwriting got progressively better throughout that test. Top rod angle with a length of 19 inches was 55.1. Uh, bird cage, 52.7. Our left rear shock length was 24 and an eighth. And our left rear droop was 16 and a 16th. And shorten the rod to 18 and a half and take the same measurements. Okay, same set of measurements starting with our top rod angle. Top rod angle, gotta get it set right. 56.9, hold that real quick. And our bird cage angle, 47.6. Now we will check our left rear behind C to C. Change quite a bit, 23 and three quarters. And finally, our left rear droop here. Still 16 and a 16th, and we're still on the chain. Okay, so our eight and 18 and a half top rod length gave us a top rod angle of 56.9, a bird cage angle of 47.6, a left rear shock length of 23 and three quarters, and we're still on the chain at 16 and a 16th. So now we'll go to 18, do the same measurements. This rod is now set to 18 inches, center to center. And we're gonna check our angle here. 60.2. Pretty big change there. And our bird cage angle, 39.8. Check our center to center on our left rear behind shock, 22 and a half. And here's something that's interesting. Our chain has gone slack because now instead of hanging on the chain, we are hanging on this top rod. Check our left rear droop. We are down to 15 and three quarters. So here are our results from that experiment. And you can kind of see here that our delta between our bird cage angle and our top rod angle grew as we shortened the bar. Um, our left rear shock behind length decreased. We're indexing more into that coilover. And our droop stayed the same until we got to the point where we hung on that top bar and then we saw the chain go slack and now we have less droop. Thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting. Uh, it was kind of a fun experiment to do. Uh, I should note that it was done with a tape measure and a battery powered inclinometer. Not everything is gonna be 100% accurate on that. So take everything with a grain of salt on a measurement like this. Um, this is not where I run my bars, so I didn't give anything too secret away. Not that I have any secrets at the moment anyways, 
but it was an example of how the left rear top rod length changes your indexing and what goes along with that. Uh, this would be something that you could do on your own four link car is, is change the length of that. See what it does to your birdcage angle, your shock center to center, all that. Um, thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to hit uh, follow or subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.